everyone and welcome back to another part in the Hogwarts Legacy Saga. So with this episode I've decided we're going to do two main quests. We're going to start off with the Beast class because I'm super excited for that. I can't wait to see what animals we work with and I'm just, I want to get hands on with that. So we're going to start out with that. I don't see it expanding too much into a long run around thing and then from there we'll go and do the main quest uh with gladwin where we can learn alahmora and finally start opening doors okay let's go and of course we've got to wait let's just sleep on the floor while we wait damn that's a first setting sun <laughs> let's begin so excited Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Mm -hmm. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. You now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Aww. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh, Miss so cute. Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Like the dude that got a puskin you can practice on tongue up his nose. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Oh, I'm gonna you die of brush. cuteness overload. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Okay. The beast petting brush is used to nurture magical beats. Tap T and then hover over the beast petting brush. Hold and drag it to the spell set. Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> oh, it's so cute! That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Wait, so does that mean like all the dens that you find throughout the world we can go to and look after the animals there? That would be so cool. Okay. Uh, let's do this and give him some food. Mm, two. Yeah, a little fit. Oh, damn, those are huge. Ah, oh, it's so what cute! What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. Yay. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. <laughs> Good work, everyone. Ball. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Yes, yes ma'am. Why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? The measles. This way. The measles are over here. Hi, Sebastian. Wait, that is Sebastian, right? I didn't miss look. <gasps> Oh yeah, the measles, they're so adorable. Oh, You're just gonna hear me cooing the whole time now. Get me a few canuts at least. Canuts. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. Dude, I will behead you. I what will behead you. What are you doing? Oh, tuss tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Oh, I'll be hidden. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Let's go. I me mean, coming in main character style with my like assassin looking creed outfit. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry Pleasure. on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. I will be head you. A happy beast is a giving beast. 
That's what Professor Howen always says, at least. If we treat oh. them well, they'll treat oh. us well. Oh, my bad. You're a, um, a Ravenclaw. I'm sorry. I thought it was the dude that was... Never mind. Right. Uh, brush him. And brush you. And brush you. Don't mind me. I'm just... F not fangirling. I'm just absolutely in love with doing this right now. Okay. Feed you. Feed you. And feed you. <laughs> Her knees was really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. The now, pens aren't even open. Where is our new student? Ah, there you are. Lady, I stick out like I a sore like thumb a with my outfit. <laughs> ah, these apples are so cute. Wait, I need it. Wait. You, I will be right with you. Just give me a sec. Let's brush you. And brush you. And you. And the little one. Okay. Now that I'm done uh, being overloaded with cuteness. <laughs> Sorry about Hello, that. Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast lesson? Amazing. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this mm. class. Definitely. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly really? as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps. Or me. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Right. Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Alrighty. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. That was a lot of fun. Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. Uh, it's something I, like I, um... I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Mm -hmm. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Ooh. You've intrigued me. <gasps> Is it Very a Thestral? Well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Please let it be a Thestral. I absolutely love Thestrals. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Oh. Really? Well, thank you, I think. <laughs> As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. Most definitely. I am an animal lover through and through. <sighs> the weather we're having don't you think poppy where are you taking me it really is much better okay, if well, I just, just, just hang on just need to collect those you know for my room of requirement don't worry we're nearly there it's just ahead i don't think it's Stand official back. is it a hippogriff I wish I could whistle like that. I can barely whistle as it is now. <gasps> yes, it's a hippogriff. Look at that beautiful beast. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? <sighs> Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Yeah, you don't want to end up like Malfoy. It's killed me! It's killed me! Ooh. 
Ooh, okay. Bow. Mm -hmm. Bow. I got a damn sexy neck. Damn. I wish my I neck could it. look like that. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. What? You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Mm. Can I brush you? Let's give you a good brush. And let's feed you. These gigantic pellets. I'm in seventh heaven right now. I really am. Bye. Beautiful. So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Hmm. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? Oh. I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. Mm -hmm. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area. Oh, yes, so I have. So I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howard mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, But on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. Let's behead them all. <laughs> that does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. Mm -hmm. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. We will indeed. Ah. That was the best class ever! I can't remember if I read correctly or not, but I'm sure I read somewhere where they said that we can become an Animagus in this game. Which would be great. I'd love that. But I can't remember. So, I just noticed something when marking the next main quest. But do you see? That's a demigod statue. So does that mean we'll have access to these statues? We'll be able to do whatever we need to do to these statues? <laughs> and we shall sleep on different... Oh, there you see? There's one. Okay, let's sleep on the floor. Not creepy at all, but hello. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker. Oh, yeah. At your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. <laughs> I'm afraid I had a rather Dude, disconcerting That was encounter. ages ago. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. That was like, what, ten I episodes ago? Eight? Eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. Mm. In fact, my recent In visit fact. to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Okay. Do you see that curious statue over there? Yes, I've seen a few. Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was funny. Oh! That's because I've always only been there during the day. 
Now, I've if never... you wouldn't mind humouring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Okay. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems huh. the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, hmm. which, incidentally, can only be done at night. And I've always been uh, why don't you at hold places on to during the day. Now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Okay. Uh, Ever since that fateful day in the village, ever since that those fateful day, statues have begun appearing about the castle. Oh, a fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. Okay. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, mm. uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. Mm. This one took the form. Of a demigod. Uh, demigod. Wait, wait, just hang on. <gasps> Hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch is a secret passage road from Hogwarts to the cellar at Honey Dupes. It can only be accessed using a particular charm, which we know. Terrifying yes. creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Do tell. Uh, those statues are demigodes. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why right. Me? Yeah, exactly. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. But a mere student. First, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Dude, they're statues. Second, <laughs> as macabre and idiot as a demiguise is, <laughs> most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. You are in standing fact, like five feet away I know from one. Two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Yeah, what's it for? It's a statue. It's not gonna bite you, it's not gonna hurt you. It's a statue. Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. There's no risk, oh, really. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk, and there is, in fact, a reward. Mm -hmm. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Ooh. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, okay. Next, you'll notice that the door is locked. Uh, However, yes. will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, yes, you'll that's find just one statue like... in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital <coughs> wing. Good luck. Oh. And one in, uh, is it Professor Fig's office, I think? Oh, this charm, this charm movement is the same as on the Hogwarts game, the mobile game, if I can move correctly. Finally, we can unlock things. Hello, Amora. Ooh. Use Q and E and A D to move the sparks and rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated to release lock. Damn, a little mini puzzle. Um I do oh. A and D. I do not understand. Oh, okay. I didn't understand any of that, but I managed to unlock it. Well done. Damn. You're in. 
Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Ah, uh, explains why it's locked. Just by the way, I think the only risk that I'm going to have from this mission is getting knocked out. Knocked out by one of those locks that disappeared. Okay. Let's lose my job. Got it? Let's go. Hello, Amora. Dear Mirabel, my dear Dot has been asking after you. Perhaps I can convince her to stop in for a butterbeer or two if you were to join us? It's been far too long. When you do manage to come by, I wonder if you'd be able to part with a few of your plants, the more fragrant ones? Ever since the troll attack, customers have been complaining about the smell of, believe it or not, old socks. Nothing I've tried seems to cover the stench. Hoping to see, see you soon, with or without the plants, your friend, Serona. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Gaining a lot of loot here. Ooh. Professor Fig, I am in receipt of your most recent owl. Apologies for the delay in my response. I am still receiving a good deal of correspondence regarding the introduction of the not so recent Stooging Penalty in Quidditch, which, in my humble opinion, has brought the game into the modern age. Astonishing, frankly, how many spectators want nothing less than seeing Quidditch keepers flattened entirely. As to the topic of your recent letter, we at the Ministry assure you that any and all potential threats to a kind are taken quite seriously. I have made note of your concerns and inasmuch as time allows, the Department of Magical Law Enforcement will ensure that the matter is looked into, schedule permitting. We value the opinions of esteemed wizards such as yourself, and you may rest assured that we have matters well in hand. Should you wish, I can have my secretary secure seats for yourself and a guest in this year's Quidditch final. I think you would be delighted to see the results of a well-run and efficient government. Warmest regards, Faris Spavin, Minister of Magic. Goody goody. Ah, level two. So I wonder how we are uh, probably in the... The traits section of the menu to upgrade our Alahamora. Damn it. Oh, key! Here's another key! Yes! Where's the key? Casting Revenant reveals authority figures and enemies' location. Okay. Uh, I knew that already. I just. I want the key. I want the key, but I don't hear it. Damn, there's a lot of letters here. Reminded to staff, the Hogwarts house elves do an exceptional job of keeping the castle in order. They are seldom unprepared for any number of items that they might encounter each day. However, only the other day, an unexpected stash of wizarding crackers went off from behind a cushion. The cacophony was most untoward, engulfing one poor elf in blue smoke and giving those of us nearby an abominable ringing in our ears for the rest of the day. I expect the culprit was Peeves. Please keep an eye out and be careful. Matilda Weasley. <gasps> There's the key! Okay, come. Let's go get the key. My maths brain did not comprehend that. My bad. For some reason I thought it was 15, not 13. Hmm. It's a rainbow. <gasps> it's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Does that mean he's a leprechaun? <laughs> Such cute little posters. Okay. On to the next! There he is there. So if we can distract him there. Aha. Okay. Go, go, go. Wait, where was the key again? Ah, oh, shit. Go there. I somehow miraculously did not get caught. Can we open this? This must yes, be the can. prefect's bathroom. Okay. I got caught, but I'm still busy unlocking the door. <laughs> Shit! Okay, in we go. Ooh. Bubbles. Bubbles! 
Hello, I'm a prefect too, you twit. Ooh. Okay. Uh, oh, there's three of you. Ooh -hoo. While I'm at it. The prefect's bathroom features a swimming pool sized bathtub that can be filled with enchanted soap and colorful bubbles, as well as a beautiful painted mur a mural depicting a mermaid. Uh, uh, no, stop walking. Eee! Damn it. You saw nothing. Okay. Ooh. Are you going to stay there? I hope so. Okay. You going to stay there? One down. Okay. No. Uh, no. Um. Okay. Uh. Uh. You go there. Yeah. Yeah. You do that. Bye. Whew. Could I? Ooh. Oh! Oh! Shit! 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 <laughs> Not again! How on earth am I supposed to get past all of you? At the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Mm. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but the students are terrible. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft is your husband. Attender, uh, attending here, huh. nurse Noreen Bailey, oh, patient name redacted by order of Professor Black, age redacted. Season. Notes, the patient was oh, injured oh, during a Quidditch match, oh, though, in my professional cool. opinion. That's redacted. Hardly counts as an injury. In fact, if anyone, if anyone was injured, it was me, as I do not believe I've ever rolled my eyes quite so hard in my life. <laughs> it is a wonder I can even see to write this note. Rather unbelievably, or indeed despicably, the headmaster now wants something. to cancel Quidditch, all because a pure blood, redacted, uh, went and redacted before the snitch was even in sight. When I pressed the headmaster slightly, I was told, redacted. Staggering. I've never eye rolled so hard in my life. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. No one heard anything. Uh, uh. Go that way. <sighs> Professor Garlic, please leave. Thank you. Shit. Um, okay. Whee! Uh, okay. No, 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 no. You see nothing. Okay, we can do this. Oh. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the boggart in Oxmead, does it? No. <laughs> I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. Uh, yeah. I'll see what I can do, but I'm fairly busy. I'm quite busy, actually. <laughs> uh, understood. Uh, but I hope you will find the time. In case it matters, I do have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons interest. are only retrievable at night. Thus, yeah. I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. All right. How, yeah, how many how are there? How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. 
He's being haunted by demigod statues. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Ooh, so that's how Not we level every up. Every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Okay. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Okay, so that's how we're gonna level up. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Mm -hmm. uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Definitely. I do know we saw one in Professor Fig's office. I saw another statue. So, ooh, uh, in Professor Onai's office. This was on her table, right? Because we still froze her table. So those are two that I could do now. Here is one. Hi! Mind now, Demi guys. <laughs> Don't mind me, Professor Fig. Just staring at your cupboard. Okay. Right, next. Damn, she be working late. Hello. Great tapestry. Love it. This is a. Uh, hang on. These are the symbols on those gates, because the horse symbol is on the gate there at the bottom of the courtyard. This one's the floor below. No, that one's a floor below. No? This one's on the floor below. So do you think that when it's on the symbol, it allows the gate to open? So we'd need to maybe learn the charm that slows us down and then go to the door. Because I hear another one. I hear another one. Yeah. It's definitely when it crosses over it. Yes! This place with satisfaction. The final token. Here we go. The last house token. Let's see what's inside. Time to see what's inside. Hmm. Damn, that's cool. <laughs> well, look at that. Slytherin really cows you goes to the former headmistress, you praxia mole. <laughs> Wait, that's it? I just get a collection update? Is that it? Okay, so let's speak with Nelly and see what else we get from these. Were you able these. to follow one of the Dedalian keys? <laughs> Don't get me started. I collected all 16 of them. Not just one. Hello, Nelly. Actually, I found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Mm. Oh, wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Mm. Brilliant! Whew. Well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to. Well, that was uh, a bit anticlimactic for 16 keys. Unless I'm missing the bigger picture here, but for me, that's not something very... But at least we found all 16 keys. That is ticked off the list. Hmm. Okay, so that is that for this episode. Uh, we finally learned about the demigod statues, which I'm very happy for. And we finally got Alahamora. Yes. <laughs> and then the beast class, which was so much fun. I'm sorry for completely going all like mushy, but I couldn't help it. It was such cute animals. <laughs> okay, so plans for the next uh, episode two or say let's say two episodes episode one i've written here we're going to search the astronomy wing because over here we've got one out of five collection chests and now that we've got alahamora we can go behind any of the locked doors we've got 11 out of 23 field guide pages so hopefully we can get the remaining 
12, 20, yeah, remaining 12, <laughs> if my mass is not getting me under. And then we can find, hopefully find two more demigod statues, so that will bring us up to five out of the nine, which would be great. Then uh, we can do the side quest for Madame Kagawa, which is this one. We've got to practice the flying near the spires and flying near Cambridge Tower, and then we will learn Arresto Lamentum. Which I think will help in the end, maybe, for those doors in the clock tower with the pendulum. So I have made a side note of that. I will keep, just um, with everything that we learned, keep going back to that area. So that we can see to get into those four doors. That there must be something to it. It's either a spell or maybe we just need to think a little bit outside the box. I'm so excited. I'm happy for this. Um... But otherwise, that is me for this episode. Uh, we also definitely did uh, um, get to two of the three things. Find Log of the Goblin. I don't know what that's going to be a part of. It might be part of this main quest, if I can remember correctly. And then hopefully we get to reveal a few more for the next trial soon. So, hmm. That is going to be it for this episode. Don't forget to hit the like button below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next episode, video, whichever. Bye! Same thing. <laughs>